this is an unboxing of another book and uh, without uh, any further ado as they say we can just go now and unbox it and see what is it okay this is the book now let me remove these things and bring the book the same this German publisher along with the uh, Cambridge University are really active in the field of astronomy. So this book is called Interstellarum Deep Sky Atlas Desk Edition. So I have shown you the Deep Sky Guide and this is the atlas. The corresponding page uh, in this atlas relates to the page in the guide and you see the star uh, negative star in, uh, field images and the uh, deep sky object and the drawings on the opposite side, the sketches, is by Ronald Stoyan, Stefan Schurich. Uh, the desk edition is cheaper one, the field edition is the more expensive one. So I got this, uh, this is actually new and I got it for £50, usually it is £100 or something like that. Anyway, now let me open the plastic and see, this is the new copy. Okay, this is the Deep Sky Desk Edition. Let's open the first page. Again, the charts here. The guides, Deep Sky Object. Interstellarium. 2013-2014. The guide, which is the corresponding book to this, was published in 2018. And uh, the telescopes uh, that you can see the objects is specified, how many of the objects you can see in the 4-inch telescope, in 8-inch telescope, 12-inch telescope, and additional objects that you may be interested to know that you can see. Layout of the map, philosophy, Selection of objects, how to use the atlas, sources. And this is the chart, which is the guide for the northern hemisphere, and this is for the uh, circumpolar, yes, yeah, north circumpolar constellations. This is for the spring sky, you see the Virgo and the Butes and the Leo here. And then you come to the summer sky, then the autumn sky, the winter sky, and then the south circumpolar constellations. So uh, this is the north circumpolar constellations, list of catalog of abbreviations. Uh, I'm interested to see the winter because they are some of the most bright objects closer to us than anything else. And the Perseus wing that we see in the winter is quite close to us. And it includes all the things in the Orion Nebula, Orion constellation. So we are in the Leo yet in the spring. So, oh, Rosetta Nebula, Orion. Yeah, we are going to the right direction. And let me see. Warnut Loop, uh, M42, Horsehead Nebula, Flame Nebula, and the Belt of Orion. And uh, they must have a special chart for this D7. And uh, if you look in the corresponding page in the Deep Sky Guide, you will see all the description and pictures of this. So let's bring it here and just put it beside. Uh, this is a Deep Sky Atlas. It was first published in Deep Sky Guide. Illustrates what you can see in this one. So the example of the Orion constellation and what you can see in the surrounding area
Let me find it, I will bring it back. Okay, this is the corresponding page. So that's page 61. And I will open the page 61 in this guide and see what we will see here. We are now page 38, 60, and 61. So, oh, I love this uh, spring ground books. As you can see here, we have the Orion Nebula, and here we have the Orion Nebula, Orion Nebula, the sketch of the Orion Nebula, and the central part, trapezium, and other things in the Orion Nebula. So we can see all of that here, and that is and uh, other wonders in this region is the Horsehead Nebula and the Flame Nebula, Horsehead, Flame Nebula, the Flame Nebula, Horsehead Nebula, and uh, again uh, the corresponding, this is Flame Nebula again, that's the star Zeta Orionis, or uh, the name Alnitak, Alnitak, as they say, Horset Nebula again with a different uh, telescope. It's, the question is this way. And uh, the number six, IC 4200, is a, a faint reflection nebula um, illuminated by Minteka. Minteka is this Mentare, this the last star of the Orion belt. This is Al Nitar, and this is the Minteka. And uh, yeah, the stars and everything you can see here. That's very interesting. And the rest of the things, objects also are visible here, even if the galaxy you want to see here, there's one here. Number eight corresponds to this one in the drawing. And this is seven, correspond to this photograph. So, very good uh, guide together. The next step is that every page of this, if I was going to do this, instead of having two books, I would put one page of the atlas and one page of these uh, photographs just beside it and in, in the next page. So practically combining these two books together. Uh, as you saw, there are special maps also, insets uh, inside the box or window or lines. And corresponding page in the atlas you have at the end here, for example, the corresponding thing for the Orion Nebula. So Orion Nebula and the things around it. And uh, yeah, that's nice. You can see for this is for the Cygnus cloud, what is around the Cygnus. This is the Virgo cluster north, Virgo cluster south, or the super clusters close to us. And again, the NGC 507 group and all the other Fornax cluster, another cluster of the super cluster of uh, galaxies. Again, these are galactic. Uh, galaxy uh, without G capital G. Uh, these are all clusters of galaxies. Small Magellanic Cloud. That can be used for northern and southern hemisphere. And large Magellan Magellanic Clouds here. So very interesting stuff all over. And index of deep sky objects goes on for several pages. And. Uh, in total, how many page? I've given up after a few pages to put numbers. <laughs> it seems so. <laughs> okay. Okay, they have numbers here. Yeah, they have given up numbering, but anyway. Uh, it's more than 100 page and at the end is a list of constellations every space like all the German and French books every inch of a space is used for something and unlike American books which uh, you find a big text and wordy very wordy and very you know just waste of time and space less information more words and nonsense yakking uh, here they have used this space for giving you the concise kind of information that you may need and if you want more you can just go to the corresponding charts and get what you want. So I recommend these two books to anyone who wants to observe the deeper sky objects.